Vic here with Move Miami. We are back again with my trusty associate, Carolina Villaraz. And we're here to do a deep dive on Coral Gables, one of the best suburbs to live in Miami, which we covered in our other video, uh, giving you a bird's eye overview of the best neighborhoods in Miami to live. Both, it also actually got covered in our singles video, so you'll see it again uh, during the singles video. But today we're here to do the really deep dive into all the neighborhoods in Coral Gables. Let's start off with a little history, Carol. Give them a little history about the city beautiful. Yeah, so Core Gables is actually, it's a city within Miami-Dade County. Um, and it's one of the original communities that are based of the city beautiful movement from the early 1900s. So Miami being a very, you know, fairly young city mm -hmm. has a lot of history. Um, and Core Gables is one of the cities that we're super, super proud of and everything you know that it does for the city. Yeah, it was built in the 20s. Uh, I believe uh, George Merrick is the visionary for this uh, city. And what I can tell you is the city is very well preserved and there are some beautiful Mediterranean and Spanish inspired homes in Coral Gables. And you gotta, you gotta really know if you're gonna get into one of those homes because it could be a little problematic if you're purchasing one of those and wanna make and turn it into one of these modern homes. We're not gonna let you. There's a there's a board, a historic preservation board that is very involved, and the architecture needs to be in that same similar style. If you're buying a home that's around the golf course, that's on Granada, there's a bunch of different areas and designated historic areas. But it honestly honestly gives the city a lot of character, and it's very well run. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place to live. Well, that um, the golf course and the country club actually is one of the biggest, you know, parts of Coral Gables that art, the architect and um, George Merrick inspired by the landscape. So they're trying to preserve that because that is what Coral Gables is about. And just to, so you guys know, there's three golf courses right in the middle. The main one being uh, the Biltmore Hotel. Uh, the private one being Riviera on the south side of the Coral Gables, and we've also got a little nine-hole golf course for beginners. It's a nice place for beginners to live, which is the Coral Gables Country Club, uh, which is a nice place to learn. If you're teaching a kid or if you're a senior and you only want to get nine holes in, get back to work, get back to the office, great place to play. All right, uh, let's, let's talk about how I would divide Coral Gables into sections, all right? So if you're looking into real estate, I divide Coral Gables into the following sections, all right? You've got North Gables, then right after North Gables, you've got the Golden Triangle, and then right after that, you've got South Gables. So I would, I would call that the uh, more affordable tier of where homes are. Then right after that, we've got what I call the Gables houses that are on the water, or the Waters houses, all right? So we got the Gables Waterway that divides the North half from the South half, and along the Gables Waterway, you've got Coco Plum, Gables Estates, Old Cutler Bay, Gables by the sea and then all the way down to the south we've got Kings Bay that we'll put it up on a map so you guys can see as I talk talk about those sections but I would divide it into those different tiers and we'll do deeper dives into uh, what the home prices are in each of those neighborhoods we've done deals in all of them God was a resident I used to live there this is one of my favorite communities and let's start right now talking about attractions this is why people live here yeah. one of the most beautiful things about the Gables is Downtown Gables. Downtown Gables is in the northern section in between the Golden Triangle and North Gables. It's where all the businesses are. It's where my old law firm used to be. It is where all the restaurants are, the bars. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that area. Yeah, well that area, you know, it's considered your e-play work area. You know, you can live there. You work there and then you eat there. So it's great for young professionals. I live there. Um, walking distance from, you know, all the bars, all the restaurants. Um, there's a great theater there. You can get to Merrick Park where you have the malls and you have the, um, even a movie theater. Let's, let's talk about, let's, let's do this in order. Okay. All right, so 
We wake up and we have, first in Miami, the first thing we do is go for a cafecito, right? Yep. So what are the best cafecito spots or coffee spots in Coral Gables? Um, my go-to is Tinta y Café. One, one of my favorites, one of my favorites. Another little hidden gem that we tried the other day was called Grumpy's Coffee. It's all, it's down Ponce de Leon. So for those of you who work on the southern half of Miracle Mile or Coral Way, uh, that's a good spot for you to go check out as well. And, and a little further to the south is an OG Cuban spot uh, at the uh, bakery uh, off of, not on, not on Ponce, uh, it's Alhambra? right off of, on Alhambra. No, 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 a little down south. It's uh, Vicky Bakery. The Vicky Bakery, bakery, bakery. On, the, on, on, the, on the southern end. Uh, if you guys are towards that end of downtown Gables, it's a good spot for coffee and a pastelito. That okay. even made a little cameo in that new movie with Andy Garcia, Father of the Ride, Whoa, Vicky I need, Bakery. I need, I need to go check they that out. They got a shout out. V v Vicky Bakery is a good spot down there. So for my friends who used to practice law over at Wicker Smith, that was our, our coffee hangout to meet up with the boys and talk about cases. All right. Uh, what's that new project right across from the Vicky Bakery that just went up? It's a beautiful, gorgeous project. The plaza. Oh, the plaza. The plaza, the plaza. So plaza, that's a, that's a game changer for the Gables. We're gonna do condos and high rises in a separate video. So if you want to talk about condo living, this deep dive is gonna go strictly into single family residential. The next video we're gonna cover downtown living, the high rises from the Northern tier all the way to the Southern tier because there's some really nice condos in the Gables waterway. And we want you to get a deep dive about uh, those and Via Valencia, which just went up, it's got three units left. It's the most exclusive uh, building that was just built up in the middle of Coral Gables, right off of Lejeune and Valencia. Okay, let's get back to the important stuff here. So, once we just covered coffee, let's get into uh, lunch. Where are we going to lunch in the Gables? I mean, if you're stepping out for lunch with your co workers, you can literally walk down Geralda and pick from anywhere you want to go. Everything on Geralda is delicious and we're so lucky to have that street that's been blocked off. Yeah, and, and Girada is this uh, beautiful street that got blocked off during COVID. It used to shut down once a month for Geralda Under the Stars is what they called it. They'd have live music, all the bars and restaurants would let people uh, out onto the streets and they'd cover, they'd do like kind of a block party on Fridays, uh, the first Friday of every month. But now we've got this year round thanks to covid and it's one of the most amazing things that have has happened that street is all blocked off and now all the restaurants and people get to enjoy that area uh, and during certain times i feel like they did i don't know if it was something to do with spain they had like umbrellas all over the oh they do that, a little, like, like, a pop up, yeah a little pop-up art i know that those were up in like puerto rico for a little bit mm -hmm. they do it's pop-up art and different things that are in um that feature different local artists sometimes as well and so when you saw people taking pictures with you know this covered area with umbrellas it was on heat Hirada Avenue, okay? There's really cool spots there. Tabena Hirada is a good Spanish tapas place. We just did a shot of video at a Vietnamese restaurant, uh, Miss Saigon. Saigon. Uh, you can also check out uh, the bar, one of the oldest bars in Coral Gables, a good dive bar. Uh, our, our friends over at Pokey Bao do some pokey mm -hmm. right there. They used to be there doing some good stuff. Chef David Boza does an amazing job. He's a, we does had a chef experience. Eating house there. coming back, uh, making a comeback. Ooh. Yeah, on Gerardo. That, that's great. Chef George Ripacaboli does a great job, and he's got another really nice restaurant that just opened up on the mile. Uh, but with Luca, right? Luca yeah. Stadio. Gotta check that one out. Where would we go? Let's go top spots for brunch. For brunch, I mean, my go to is Threefold Cafe. It's an amazing Australian, you know, restaurant. They're super well known for their coffee, all done in house, as we learned, all their cold brews. Yep. They make it huge in bulk and they're known for their like origin single pour, which not a lot of people in Miami do because we're so busy doing like cafecitos and coladas and cortaditos, which are good too. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Great place to check that out. You should always uh, check them out if you're in the neighborhood. Another really good one, if you wanna turn it up and you wanna dance and you wanna party on Saturdays, the bottomless brunch at Top 42 is another good one. Yeah, Straight down Hirada, also down that street. Definitely, definitely worth checking out if you want to dance. And uh, the ladies, I think it's a bottomless, so it's not a good, it's, it's a good spot. Another good one uh, is Gramercy. Gramercy, Gramercy. that opened up on, on the mile. Also has a bottomless brunch. Also a good place to turn up. 
Very cool for IG stories as well. They got big, a lot of photo ops over there. What's that, the big bear that are, that red bear yeah, that we that take picture with? Yeah, that big bear they got. Definitely a good one too. If you're looking for any more hidden gems in Coral Gables or need to know where to live, where to party, where to play, drop us a comment. Let us know where we should go next. Like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to move, Miami.